Hi everyone, so today is all about chicken pies, tasty, yummy chicken pies. And if you like to know how I make mine, then please keep watching. So for this recipe, I will be using chicken legs. I prefer chicken legs because they're quite juicy, but you can use any other chicken pasta that you so desire, or you can just stick with chicken mins. I will be using both mins and the chicken legs, and I will show you just how I do that. So the first thing to do is to make incisions on the chicken, just so the marinade can properly penetrate. And for my seasonings, I will be using some chicken seasoning, thyme, salt, smoked paprika, garlic powder, and also some chopped onions. And now I'm just going to rub the seasonings into the chicken, making sure they're well coated. And then I'm going to leave this to marinate for at least an hour. If you can do overnight, that will be great because the longer the better, but I'm just going to do a couple of hours today. And for my mince, I'm going to be using turkey mince instead of chicken mince. I prefer turkey mince because they are juicier, but feel free to use chicken if that's what you've got. And I'm just going to throw them in my food processor and chop finely. And this is what it looks like. So after marination, I'm just going to boil my chicken. So I'm just going to add enough water to cover. I don't want to add too much water because I want it a bit concentrated. I want the broth a bit concentrated because I'm going to be using it for the, for the filling. So I'm just going to leave this to boil for about 20 minutes. So it's been 20 minutes and my chicken is well done and I'm just going to set this aside. And now I'm just going to shred the chicken and you can do this by hand or you can use a food processor or you can even use both. So I'm just going to do it by hand first and then I will transfer into my food processor to make it a bit finer. And this is what my chicken broth looks like and as you can see it's quite rich and I'm just going to save this for later. So depending on the size of your chicken pie, you can choose to do big chunks or you can do finer chunks. And because my pie size would be a bit small, I will just do like a medium size, kind of like this. So just to save time, I have already chopped my potatoes, carrots, spring onions and purple onions. And for my potatoes, I'm just going to add some lemon juice to it and that's because I don't want it to go brown while, you know while I'm doing other things because I won't be using it just yet. So into a pan I will be adding some vegetable oil and when this heats up I'm going to add some chopped onions. So I'm just going to fry this for about three to four minutes and then I will add the turkey mince. And I'm just going to break up the mince a bit and then I will add some bouillon cubes and garlic powder. I won't be adding salt yet because I'm going to be using the chicken broth. So I'm just going to mix this thoroughly and then I will leave to fry for about five to six minutes or until the chicken mince browns or loses its pinkness. And now I'm just going to go ahead and add my chopped potatoes and my carrots. And I'm just going to add some chicken broth as well to this. If you haven't got chicken broth, um, you can just use water. So I'm just going to combine this thoroughly and then I'm going to leave this to cook until the vegetables are softened. And while I'm waiting on that, I'm just going to make my cornflour slurry. So I'm just going to add some water into a cup and then I'm going to add some cornflour. Mix thoroughly and then set aside. And I should mention as well that if you haven't got cornflour, you can use plain flour.
and now I'm just going to check on my filling and my potatoes and carrots are soft enough for me and now I'm going to add the shredded chicken and I'm just going to combine and then I'm going to add some spring onions and I'm just going to combine this and as you can see it's already looking really yummy and at this point I'm going to add my cornflour slurry and I'm just going to continue to mix until I achieve the kind of consistency that I like which is creamy and then I'm going to cover and leave to simmer for two minutes and after two minutes my filling is ready can you see how yummy this looks so I'm just going to set this aside and we will prepare the dough and for my dough I will be adding some plain flour into a sieve and also add a tablespoon of sugar not enough sugar to sweeten the dough but you know just to give it that hint of sweetness this is optional and I'm just going to gradually sift this into the bowl so I'm not using salt and that's because I'm going to be using salted butter but if you're going to be using unsalted butter then please add half a teaspoon of salt and now I'm just going to add my butter and I'm just going to mix this thoroughly until I achieve a sort of crumbly texture and at this point I'm just going to add my milk and I'm just going to fold should I say fold because I'm not kneading I'm just going to combine until I achieve a non-sticky dough and after that I'm just going to place this in a bowl and I'm just going to leave to rest for about 30 minutes in my fridge And now I'm just going to prepare my egg wash. I'm just going to break one egg into a bowl and I'm just going to mix it thoroughly and then set aside for use later. And after 30 minutes, I'm just going to place the dough onto a worktop and then I'm just going to chop into smaller pieces so it's easier to work with. So to cut my dough, I will be using this dough cutter this contraption here and also this one here just anything round to be honest and if you haven't got any of those you can just use a round bowl or you can use the lid of a small pot and I'm just going to roll the dough and I'm just going to be careful not to overwork the dough so just don't roll it for too long and I'm just going to cut that into small round shapes And now I'm just going to brush the edges of my dough with egg wash and that's to help it seal and now I'm just going to top it with some of the filling and I'm just going to be very careful so it doesn't spread onto the edges so we can seal properly and then I'm going to cover with another piece and now I'm just going to cut it into shape with a small cutter and then I'm going to seal the edges using a fork and that's it done and because I'm choosing to be lazy I'm just going to use this cotton seal here so I'm just going to press that down and it will cut the dough into shape for me and then I'm going to press the top just press it down and that's going to seal it as well ta-da see how easy this is this is a life saver I'm going to leave a link in the description box if you're interested in buying it and now I'm just going to brush my my pies with some egg wash and then I'm going to use a fork to create some steam vents and then I'm going to place this in my preheated oven it's preheated to 180 degrees Celsius and I'm going to bake that for 30 minutes and after baking just look at that just look at that the spies are all that and so much more they are absolutely delicious absolutely amazing so if you do try this you know the deal please leave me a feedback and please like and subscribe please subscribe to my channel please see you in my next video bye